All right, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Graveyard Keeper. Here we are, back again, back again, back again. I still cannot believe I spent so much money on that, on, 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 like, so much time, so much patience, so much effort into getting a stamp, and, like, all I get in return is just booty. It's just straight booty. Like, the meat doesn't even sell for that much, dog. It's, I feel cheated. I feel lied to. Alrighty, I don't even know where we last left off. I've got no fucking idea. I know that we've got no technologies that we can unlock. I know that we've got tons of quests. That we need to do. Um... Fuck me. I think what I want to do is I want to go explore the dungeon and I also want to research stuff. Like these blue, like these powders that provide me with like a certain level of uh, research. So I can figure out some type of direction, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's research this. What the? We don't need to research it for faith? Dog, that's sick. How much do we get from that? Oh, it's only five. Oh, that's lame. Damn, I got all happy and shit because I thought it was going to be like a lot, but it's actually not. Damn, dude. How much we get from researching this? Oof, we got 30 from that. Hell yeah, dude. That's what I'm talking about. Ah, oh, hell yeah, dude. All right, technologies. I guess I can unlock zombie logistics. Maybe I could do more faith stuff. But I also want to do inventing stories. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do inventing stories. I'm going to do... I'm going to get the inborn blacksmith trait. And I think that's all for right now. Um, let's enter the dungeon. Because I just want to do a little bit of a dungeon run. Before I actually like get stuck into the game. And then we can actually focus on researching stuff. Ooh. Oh. Damn. He really wanted me to go all the way down here for a fucking bucket. Oh, it's a silver nugget. Oh, we getting somewhere, boys. Fuck. I mean, it don't give you any penalties anyway if you, if you die, so it's not that big of a deal. Can we just at least try to maximize this? I think I'm gonna try and make like these complex parts so that I can actually make a resurrection table and start using zombies. I think that'd be a smart thing to do. Okay, so we need one zombie juice and 10 faith. It is not hard to get faith. Okay, so I gathered up all the stone that I need to be able to get a lot of faith points really really quickly so we're going to go over to the inquisitors area and see what this is all about over here because apparently we might be able to do something on this day apparently i'm not sure i want to give it a go though oh here we go ah keeper I enjoy the air here. There is something righteous in it. It is good to know that we'll soon be burning another witch here. We're still torturing her. Oh, the fuck? But forgiveness is worth it. This time the burning should go perfect, and we need a man like you on our side. Will you join with your fellow guardians of the faith? I guess I'll join. Good, you've joined at the perfect time. We need to prove that no witch can escape our righteousness. 
We need to make some preparations here. You can aid the Holy Inquisition. We need some firewood for a nice warm fire and as many advertising flyers as you can get. I'll wait for you. The witch isn't going anywhere. As soon as we have everything ready, we'll burn her. What's with the other half of the graveyard? A couple of years ago, it was desecrated by cultists. They had a picnic there, and I'm not sure that the evil has entirely left the place. So I need to be sure that you're on our side in this fight before I give you permission to use this part of the graveyard again. Get a permission to unlock the western side of the graveyard. What are the portal guards for? Monsignor. Do you think the guards here on Witch Hill are really necessary? I'm not sure, but the town is full of rumors. Someone has been seeking forbidden knowledge. Damn heretics. Last time their dark rituals here on the mountain ended with a great blast. We can't be too careful about such things. I can look after the hill. I'll let you know if I see anyone come by. Your guard ambush is obvious from a mile away. Mm, you're right. But are you worthy of this sacred trust? Okay, he needs 20 firewood and 10 flies. That is really not that hard to get. The question is, am I going to have enough time? Damn, we actually don't have enough flyers. Fucking rip, dude. Damn, man, we really just be sucking at all corners of this fucking game. We don't have enough flyers. We don't have enough friendship. We don't have enough this. We don't have enough that. Fuck, man. Oh my god. Right? Do I just suck at this fucking game? Is that what's happening? Do I just like really, really suck at this game? And just start digging clay until we get 20, which is now. And then with our new technology, we can get grape farming. And then from there, we want to get wine making. Anyway, now that we've unlocked grape farming, we can now get to wine making, which is an additional... Okay. Now that we have these technologies, which is 50 power, 20 fucking whatever, and 30 faith, we can now get to winemaking. So now we can start progressing through this finally. Now, vine trails. I believe the vine trails are over in this area. But first, I need to go to the church. God damn it, this is how lazy I am. You ready? Here we go. Boom. See, here's the vine trellises. Yeah, I need grape seeds. Where the fuck am I gonna get grape seeds? Am I gonna get them from the fucking merchant? Is that going to be a possibility, you reckon? Maybe. Hopefully. I hope so. Man, this game is really testing my faith. No, that wasn't a good pun, was it? I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, do you sell grape seeds here, buddy? Pumpkin. Mm, lentils. Onion. Lentil seeds. Onion seeds. Wheat. Oh, where the fuck do I get grape seeds from, my dude? So apparently, I find grape seeds with the merchant. Great. Or grape, I should say. Haha. <laughs> Was that a funny? Did I make a funny? Oh, so this is hiccup grass. Oh, I see. That merchant, how much hiccup grass did he need? He said some. Give him the hiccup grass. Oh, thank you. I'll eat it right now. What a strange taste. Hmm. Now I taste nothing. Wait a second. Let me take a bite of the spicy cookie I have in my pocket. Why do you have a spicy cookie in your pocket, man? Why, it's tasteless. I sense nothing at all. What did you give me? Just what you asked for. Hiccup grass. Oh my god, it's happened. It's the curse. Once when I was young, I was told that I'd lose the most important thing in my life. Who told you that? An old fortune teller. I was traveling with my caravan in the desert across the northern mountains. We stopped at an oasis and there was this old woman. Everything she said came true. And now this. I'm sorry to hear that. Wait a minute. Do you know any witches? No. Hmm. The Inquisitor probably burned them all. If old Clotho is still alive, she was pretty old when I was young. If she's still alive, she must be a real wit- 
You should find her in the w center of the western swamp. Tell her that the merchant and priest who used to buy the love potions from her need help. I am sure she'll remember us. You were a priest? No, my brother was the priest. I don't want to talk about it, so I'm counting on you, my friend. Bring me a cure for this curse. Let's see what I can do. Witch's land. Uh, please, I want to get to the witch. Please. How do I get over to her? Oh my god, I think I made it. Go away, foul spirit. I'm not a spirit. I'm the keeper at the local graveyard. Are you sure you're real? Not 100%, but pretty sure. I think it might be Clotho, the witch from the swamp. Oh, that would explain one of my theories, in part. Come closer, my sweet. Do I look more like a witch or a fairy princess? What do you think? A fairy princess. Great, then you can be my prince. No, I'm not a prince. Anyway, I need your help. I need your help, too. Too bad for you. I remember nothing. I just woke up with this note in my hand. In case you lose your memory, just boil the cauldron with the incense and the bee. Drink the result. All ingredients should be in the cauldron already. Good luck from your past you. So did you try it? Do you see a cauldron lying around? No. Neither do I. So we have two options here. You can either make me this potion. It shouldn't be too hard. Or you can bring me a new cauldron and get the ingredients for me. And where can I find a cauldron? Oh, I'll need a big one. A good blacksmith might know how to make one. You help me and I'll help you. I might even become your princess. <laughs> I'm thinking of a third option. Run away and never look back. Alchemy workbench, hand mixer, and alchemy mill are the new tasks we got. And we got a new technology, burning witch. What the fuck? A bird friend told me that you have a garden. Is that true? Yes, I plant a few crops. Would you consider helping an old woman? All I ever do around here is help everybody. Ah, fine, what do you want me to bring you? Pumpkin. A silver star pumpkin. And in return, I'll teach you how to make pumpkin soup. For a health potion. I do have a goal here, and the goal here is the assembly oh, stand. Um, mm, is the assembly stand. So we need 50 of the green and 200 of the red. Now, I don't exactly remember how we get the red or how we get tons of the red. Um, but we can always just figure it out as we go. So that's what we're going to be doing for this episode right now, because I need to make lenses to be able to get a shit ton of blue energy. Um, not blue energy, blue, whatever it's called. I think it's called faith points. Um, and we really do need those because I am just, I'm just, I'm, I'm at a loss. I really, I'm, mate, it's, it's crazy. It's crazy. So the only way that I can think of doing that is if we just harvest this, harvest this stone vein up here as often as possible. Um, and then we just grab all of the stone and just take it and then just run it through. Ah, yes. And we can also resurrect the zombie. Fuck yeah, dude. Let's go. Okay. So now we can finally have an infinite source of wood logs coming to us at any given time. Hopefully. I think it should work. Although we'll see. Perfect. I wonder how many he gives. Oh, he carries two at a time. Wonderful. I've also decided to make myself a stone garden because I have enough energy here to be able to do it. I also have enough resources. Oh, we can meditate here. Oh. That makes time pass a lot quicker. <laughs> what the fuck? Yo, 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 it's, it's, it's passing too fast, it's passing too fast, man. <laughs> Actually, holy shit. This passes time way quicker. That's, that's really cool. 
No, that's really cool. Okay, so I guess that they understand that this takes a ridiculously fucking long amount of time. And they were like, fuck yeah, you know what, man? Shit, bro, this is too much. And so they decided to, like, add that to make it a bit easier on people. Which, thank fuck. So we got everything that this dude needs, which is perfect. So let's get a move on. Okay, Mr. Inquisitor, I have exactly what you need here, buddy. I got some firewood. I'm glad to see you're with us in our righteous battle. And here are the flyers. Everybody will hear about inevitability of the true faith. Anyway, I was planning a burning for today. The witch became too weak and burning a dead one is too boring. Stay, let's watch it together. I don't really want to stay for this, man. I don't want to stay for this. I don't want to stay for this. Let me out. Let me go. No. No. Plus, I'm getting hungry. You're getting hungry from watching a burning? The fuck? That's weird, man. Seems your burning isn't so popular. Mm, five years ago, this place was packed. Whole families came to watch. Seems everybody just got tired of it. Only my holy anger keeps the Inquisition alive. Even our blessed Inquisition guards haven't been able to find a new witch for months. Maybe it's because of the water shortage, but I think it's just a lack of motivation. Hmm, speaking of motivation, do you know how to grow grapes? It seems I'm a man of many talents. Good, I have a very important task for you, and this time you just can't say no. Besides, it will be very profitable for you. I'm listening, Monsignor. I'll grant you rights to use the eastern slope of Witch Hill to grow grapes. But I think the land there belongs to the village, not to the Inquisition. No, that vineyard has been in my family for decades. I used to live there with my wife and son. Oh, the burning body's gone. Okay. And where are they now? They are dead. Died in the Great Blast. Witches, I hate them. I'm sorry. This is no time for sentimentality. Grow some grape, make some wine. Bring it to me. The guard will then be more motivated and will work with extra zeal. Believe me, when they're drunk, they find a new witch every day. And once we get enough of them, then we'll need to figure out how to make the burnings more entertaining. I have some thoughts I'd like to run by you. I think I can be trusted. I'm not sure, but obviously you are more trusted than most of my guards, so here's your permission. If you see anything suspicious, tell me immediately. Okay, so I've got to make him 10... 10 wine! I've got to make him 10 wine! Dude. Come on now. That's a little bit ridiculous, don't you think, buddy? I hope these grapes actually, like, don't go away once they're harvested. If they do, I'm gonna be so sad, man. Okay, well, I have a heal potion that I can give to this lady. Hopefully I reach her in time. If not, that'd really suck. Where did I put that heal potion? Hmm. I don't think I'm gonna make it to the swamp by that time, so I'll just leave it be. Ah, oh, here they are. I just need one. Oh god. Stay away from me or I'll butt your ass off. You're with the Inquisition now, aren't you? No, I don't support the Inquisition. I'm just trying to get home. That's good to hear. Sounds like an honest answer. I don't like them either, but I bet if someone dug me up in a thousand years, there would be one group of people hurting another group of people, all for the common good. And there would be guys like you saying, I don't support blah, blah, blah. You're probably right. Alright, we gotta go see that witch because we have a healing potion for her and we can't get sidetracked. Surely I could teleport to the witch's land after finishing this quest for her because oh my god, trying to get to her is ridiculous. Wait, what is this? Oh my god, I can build a bridge. I just need 10 nails, 3 planks and 6 flitch. Perfect, I will do that. That is way simpler. Give her the health potion. Boom. Looks good. Let's try it. Oh, now I remember. I'm Clotho. And I remember where I hid my cauldron. Okay, now I'm back. So what do you need from old Clotho? I got some good stuff, you know. You won't find potions this good anywhere these days. I need your help. I need to help a merchant. He told me that he knew you well. He used to buy love potions from you with his friend, the priest. Oh, I remember. They were so sweet. But they were brothers, as I recall. So... How can I help him? 
He ate some hiccup grass and lost his sense of taste. He thinks he's cured. He's cursed. Not cured. Sounds like a curse laid on him by another witch, so it would be unprofessional of me to help him. In the old times, we used to help out in situations like this, but then the whole market collapsed. Now it's forbidden. Only the witch who placed the curse on him can craft a potion to remove it. So there's no cure for him. Let me see. I've told you the basics, and you're no witcher. There's a, fan there's a fancy word for what you are. Chemist. Alchemist! Right. So you can craft a potion for him, and I'll tell you the recipe. Just put salt and a health solution together. Thank you. Spices. Let's trade. Oh, she sells acid. Oh man, and she sells tree sapling. Oh my god. Oh shit, dude. She sells a golden apple. What the fuck? What do I need a golden apple for? Oh my god, she sells everything that I need. She sells oil. She sells acid. She sells glue. Oh my goodness. This is perfect. This is perfect. I just need to build a bridge and then we're good. God, I hope I brought enough nails. Something tells me I haven't. Oh shit. You know what? I'm gonna go get some, I'm gonna go craft some more nails. Fuck it. Boy, I hope by crafting this bridge, we don't run into any problems. Cause the dude said that he was looking for witches, so. Okay, now that we're back here, we can unlock the area. Finally, now I can use the western half of the graveyard. I mean, I don't really think that I needed to worry about that, but hey. Oh yes, the grapes are ready. Please don't tell me it harvests the whole thing. Oh shit, hey, it gives us four seeds though. Okay, they all require silver wine. Fuck, that sucks, man. Oh my... Oh! Okay! Who needed wine? Who needed wine? Jerry needed wine. Jerry needed wine, and this rider needs wine. Okay, let's see here. We'll just buy two for the time being. We'll give you one. Give me a story, buddy. Good wine is my friend, so here's a story. Oh, he just gives me an infinite amount of stories for wine. Okay, cool. Glad to know that. I'm never giving you a bottle of wine ever again. <laughs> Let's go give Jerry a bottle of wine. Alrighty, Jerry. Here you go, buddy. Here's your wine. I don't have any sense of taste, but I can tell it's lacking in alcohol. Sad. I'm gonna get all depressed now. That's it, Jerry? You've gotta be kidding me. Oh my god, I wasted four silver for both of them to be absolutely fucking useless to me. That is astounding. Absolutely astounding. I should have bought the silver grape seeds. I just don't have the cash right now. I'm just- uh, fuck man, I'm just running out of money left, right and center. I think an exhum certificate costs the exact same amount as a burial certificate too. So, I'm just not making money right now. It is a struggle. Fuck, I really don't know what I want to do here. Shit. Maybe I just get all of these entry level things and instead of working towards something, I just, you know, get all these things and then just hope that it all works out. Like zombie gardening. Mmm. Right, isn't. Random text generator. And then I just leave it at that for a little bit. I'm still waiting about that necklace. You have a very good reputation in your business. I wonder what could have gone wrong with Miss Charm necklace. <sighs> it's complicated. I'm the best there is at my job. I can find anything. Of course, that's a bit of a shady talent. So all these arrogant townspeople treat me like garbage. But still, they brings me their coins when they've got some trouble for me to sort out. Now that necklace has my reputation on the line. You told me you know where the necklace is, so what's the holdup? Heh, <laughs> it's not in town. It was purchased under orders from the old Lord Commander from the Mountain Fort. The necklace has some kind of sentimental meaning for him. That's all I've been able to get so far. Tell me about the Lord Commander. Once upon a time, he was a great warrior. He's the king's uncle. But of course it's easy to be great when you're born in a palace and you have a father who loves you. If I went in his place, I'd definitely be king. But he just became protector of the North Pass. And now there isn't even anything to protect. What about the mountain fort? The village 
The fort is north of the village. It's huge, but nowadays it's falling apart. The past collapsed when I was a child. It was the day after the Great Blast. It was the worst. But he just became protector of the North Pass, and now there isn't even anything to protect. I could try to help. Maybe I could help you get it back. I don't know how though, but we can brainstorm. Brainstorm? Is that some kind of spell? That could be quite useful. No, we can just think about the problem together and, hmm. Actually, you might help. You can try to get the necklace with the help of the Lord's servant, the Hunchback Kulkol. Why can't you ask him yourself? We had some kind of misunderstanding a while back. I sold him some ointment that might cure his hump. And somehow he missed world might. World might? The word might. So now it's up to you. To be honest, I'm betting you'll fail. Either way, it's a win-win for me. So now we're gonna go get the necklace from the fort north, but how are we gonna get in? I don't think we're allowed in, are we? Not that I know of. Anyway, we're gonna finish two more constructions over here and then we're gonna end off the episode. Um, so we need the vine press and we also need the wine making barrel, which won't be too difficult to get at all. Okay, I think I have everything that I need. Nope, I still need two more bits of stone. <laughs> Wonderful. Just two more pieces of stone. And of course, I do not have it. There we go, now I have two more pieces of stone and now I can finally craft this stuff. So let's make a vine press over here. And let's also make a wine making barrel over here. Perfect. Red wine. Need pail of grape juice. Two pails of grape juice. And that makes... Holy... <laughs> Holy fuck, that makes a lot of wine. What the hell? <laughs> what the fuck? Dude, that's nuts, man. That makes a lot. How much does this make? Ah, that's where you get it. I see. Very interesting. And seed oil. We need hemp seed for that. Well, seems like we got quite a bit to go and quite a bit to do in the next episode. So I guess from now until the next time I see you, I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening and night, wherever you are. And I will see you all as always, in the next episode. Catches!